Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is August 16th, and right now we're looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. You can see Hawaiian Islands, Pacific Ocean, state of California. Here's Mexico, and look at our tropical storm. It is under development out here off the coast of Mexico. It will be known as Tropical Storm, then eventually Hurricane Hillary as it tracks up the coastline. Confidence is increasing on this impact in the southwest portion of the USA. We're going to go into that detail here in a moment during the video today. This is looking in the meantime, upper level low continues to sprint the storm here across mainly the higher terrain all the way out to the coastal regions here. This is going to continue on until this slug of tropical moisture moves up over the area. So very active week upcoming on into next week. If you want to save 10% off on a nice affordable home weather station to measure all this weather, ultrasonic anemometer, haptic rain guys, got a UV index on it, stores a lot of data for you in the cloud, solar powered, and you can see everybody else's station there around the rest of the world. If you scroll around on the map here and click on their information, or you can even keep yours private. Last 24 hours, you can see all the lightning there, mainly across the higher terrain in California, Arizona, Utah there. It's going to be continuing on here through the next few days, kind of shown here by the National Weather Service, San Diego, Big Bear Lake kind of bullseye there, but likely thunderstorms again across the higher terrain in Southern California today and across Central and Northern California, including Eureka, Redding, Chico, Yuba City, Sacramento, and Reno, Nevada. These could go all the way into the morning hours and repeat during the afternoon hours. This is looking at this upper level low off the coastline here. This thing is just persistently spinning out here and it's going to last all the way in through friday and saturday here until that tropical system arrives from the south so very active weather incoming and check it out phoenix arizona and now putting out graphics on that tropical system moving up baja peninsula there very heavy rain potential here across southern california arizona nevada we don't know which impacts are going to be highest or where right now but definitely extreme impacts potential with this system as it rides up over the area. Now we're looking at yesterday afternoon's European versus the GFS, total precipitation in inches. You can see the afternoon thunderstorms going on for the next couple of days. And we scroll through Saturday and you can kind of see this moisture more aggressive on the GFS coming across the desert areas up across the Sierra Nevada here, Arizona, even out to the coastal regions and look at the GF or the European here on the left, bringing some very impressive amounts across some of the central California coastline up into the valley areas, all the way up into Oregon there as well. So yeah, the co uh, confidence is increasing here on this forecast coming up here, folks. Now is the time to prepare across the area. Always better to be prepared. Never be scared of the weather. Always be prepared. So here's day four. This is excessive rainfall, Alec. They've already introduced a slight here across Arizona, some of the deserts, Las Vegas here. And day five, it does include Los Angeles here and all the way up across Oregon and Idaho even as well. So impressive surge of moisture coming in here. More on that here in a moment. You can see this in the European last night's ensemble run. Virtually all the ensemble members and the control have this huge surge in precipitable water over the area. GFS, very similar there as well. This is Fresno, a couple more warm days before we start to bring the temperatures back down the suppression of the temperatures there due to that tropical system coming same thing with burbank california phoenix look at this the highs only getting in the 90s for a couple days do you believe that would be quite a nice change here from what they've been getting this summer look at las vegas i mean some of these temperatures are showing up for sunday look at this only upper 70s here that would be quite a nice little break here but it might come at a cost as you can see the probability for precipitation is well above average here across much of the southwest including almost all of california actually all of california there now looking at the system itself look at the european the black is the ensemble mean the blue is the control run that's the conditions we best understand them and all the ensemble members very good agreement on this thing riding up the coastline and on the right quadrant of that storm is going to be a huge slug of moisture so this is going to be a high impact event most likely confidence is increasing gfs something similar there as well look at this system just barreling up the coastline here all the way into california and some of the model runs just a very impressive you know, unusual outlook here even though we do get tropical storms moving up here this one has some pretty extreme potential with it now this is looking at the hurricane weather research forecast system and you can see as we go on in through saturday you'll see baja just appear here on the upper right of these screens and look at the wind field on this monster as it moves up the coastline big precipitable water look at the radar representation as it moves towards southern california look at this wind field off of southern california i mean do you believe is this possible it's going to be moving over colder water so it should be weakening here but it is taking a nice quick route off that warm water so it could still pack a punch here across southern california this is looking at a wider view of things here. You can clearly see its development down here off the coastline. Then it just makes its track to the north here and really just barrels head 
first into California here. So very interesting stuff coming up here. I mean, this is just kind of a weather watcher's dream watching these model runs come in here. Although you need to be prepared, especially if you're out in the some of these communities off in the deserts or along the coastal regions here, you got to be prepared coming up here. Always be prepared, never be scared. Take a look here at the GFS simulated water vapor loop. Look at the eye on this monster as it moves up Baja and the just impressive surge of moisture that will come across the region, no doubt causing some big flooding issues across much of the Southwest. This is the European good model agreement coming in here. Look at the system riding up in there, bringing big amounts of precipitable water. And this is showing the relative humidity at 925 millibars, about 2,500 feet off the surface. But yeah, pretty good model agreement coming up here, folks. This is the GFS. We're just kind of going through all the models here and showing you many different ways to look at this system as it just continues to spin up the coastline there on the GFS. And this is you know really starting to impact Southern California as you get on towards late Sunday and Monday here. And look at that plume of moisture just riding up across the Western USA. Very impressive. Looking at the GFS, this is the ensembles. You can see it getting up towards category two status here. Still hasn't been named yet. I'd be surprised if that doesn't happen at some point today, probably during the 5 p.m. forecast. They'll probably name it Tropical Storm Hillary, I would imagine. And here we're looking at the next one is going to be the hurricane analysis forecast system here. Something similar to what we were just looking at in one of the previous models here. You'll see Baja up here in the upper right. There it goes. And look at this buzzsaw moving up the coastline there. And this would have big impacts here in Southern California. I mean, check it out. This is, you're looking at wind speeds just off the surface there would be really impactful, especially across the higher terrain. And look at the radar representation here. Lots of heavy precipitation associated with this system. Do you believe, is it possible? We'll continue to monitor this very closely here over the next few days. And this is a wider look at things here at the 10 meter wind speed. Look at this buzzsaw moving up for Baja and big impacts across California. I mean, you're talking about gusts up over 50 miles per hour here. This is just insane. I mean, is it possible? I, I'm not sure I, I believe that it would be, but I, this looks like a tropical storm still moving up over Southern California. But take that with a grain of salt right now. The biggest risk from this system here is going to be the extensive flooding possible with it. Now, look in here. This is the European, the control of the 10-meter wind speed. Look at its development. Pretty good model agreement there. And even the conservative European brings us precariously close to some of the Southern California area here. This is as far as it goes out, 144 hours there Monday night. Here's the GFS. This is hot off the presses here, folks. Let me update that and get the most most of this information here on the 12Z run. But look at that development. Very strong. It looks like a pretty strong hurricane right there. So maybe it'll even go Category 3 as it moves up the peninsula here. And then you can see a barrel into the peninsula and really keep a nice wind field with it there. 10-meter wind speeds. Look at these coming across the Gulf of California into southeast and into western Arizona, up through Nevada as well. It's an impressive storm. So going to be very interesting to see how this forecast evolves here over the next couple of days. And you can see why that system's developing here. And you can see that cutoff with the cooler water off to the north. You need yellow to really maintain a hurricane for any length of time. But it can take time for this system to weaken here. And there's still going to be some big impacts here if that moves right off that warm water as a strong hurricane right into Southern California. And you can see the temperature anomaly it is, you know, above average conditions here across a lot of the areas of Baja as well. So that might help out a little bit here as that system moves north. Now, why is this happening? Well, you can kind of see the yin and yang here between this big ridge building over the interior of the USA. And this ridge's position here is allowing for that tropical moisture, easy access up into the southwest portion here, southerly flow aloft. And at the surface here is just going to allow this thing to barrel right into the southwest USA. And look at this monster ridge here. It's going to be undergoing quite the heat wave here across Kansas, Missouri, through Iowa as well. But yeah, interesting stuff here, folks. You can kind of see how the upper levels of the atmosphere work in tandem here. Big ridge and allowing that tropical system move up across the area. So yeah, I'll be back at work today, but I'm off tomorrow. I may do another live stream tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but I'm going to be watching these afternoon runs come in here with more information coming up. Um, we'll go over this all again tomorrow. And now is the time to prepare here, folks. Not joking. Across California, Nevada, Arizona, this is bringing a big moisture surge and confidence is increasing in the forecast. So we'll check it all out again tomorrow. Turn your notifications on, click link, subscribe, and we will do this again tomorrow. Hope you guys are having a good day.